Hi, in this tutorial, we introduce a new ROI based mechanism to encode our knowledge of the human brain's anatomy in tractography studies. We're going to be using data from the HCP, so feel free to try and reproduce the results illustrated here. The goal is to achieve a dense and precise reconstruction of Mayer's loop. Our tracking domain consists of a white matter mask. A grey matter mask will serve as a termination mask, allowing a maximum of five consecutive steps in it. Tractography will be performed in real time on a set of extracted peaks from fiber ODFs, but again, feel free to use any local reconstruction technique. Seeds are interactively initiated from the following purple region of interest, located next to the LGN. An end region, located at the mid-body of the optic radiation, serves as an inclusion ROI. For filtering purposes, a knot region excludes any streamline propagating in the right hemisphere. In this video, this reconstruction is referred as Boolean based method, as we retrieve a fair anterior extent of Mayer's loop, but as we will see, there is still room for improvement. The first thing we want to point out is if we remove the inclusion ROI, we notice a fair amount of invalid connections mostly propagating towards the temporal pole. This effect is observed because of the underlying rule for connectivity, which states that directions should be maximally aligned throughout the brain. However, with Mayer's loop, we know from histological studies that there is this sharp turn which is particularly counterintuitive for tracking algorithms. Here, we propose the use of oriented ROIs, which dictates which directions to follow if supported by the underlying diffusion data. We term the method magnetic tractography, or magnet. Instead of choosing the peak which formed the lowest angle with the previous step, we now suggest to look at other peaks, which are mostly aligned with the directionality of the ROIs. In this case, the red waypoint will favor a left turn and the green one will suggest posterior propagation of the streamlines, if supported by the data. When activating the magnetic ROIs, a larger extent of Mayer's loop is then retrieved. As you can see, this magnetic tractography enables us to recover a much more anterior limit of Mayer's loop, and thus influence landmark-based measurements. Here, we demonstrate that inference of connectivity can be improved by incorporating anatomical knowledge of the expected fiber orientation in regions where this information is known. This final view shows the added extension of magnetic tractography, represented by the green color. We can appreciate a deeper prolongation of the tip of the mayor's loop from this sagittal view. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.